And just like that, we are back with another episode of Bear and Breakfast, where we started in the last episode, we started working on the motel of A24, which I have to be fair, like, I'm old now. Giddy up, let's go, look at this place, it's looking fantastic. Kind of. I mean, let's not oversell it, right? Even though I should be overselling selling it, because it, because it is my hotel. Uh, but yeah, everything's going well. So, build a bedroom and book a guest. So, do I have the capabilities of booking a guest? Oh, I do. Four people are interested in becoming a guest here at my haunted Motel A24. It's not haunted. Well, actually, depending. Uh, it could be haunted with a bear. Now, this is interesting. They're asking for hygiene, right? They are asking for hygiene. Now, if I go into here and I say, hey, look, I built a hygiene room. It's going to cost $135. I don't know how to get the sinks or the toilets or the showers, but maybe... The game will tell me how so let's go three by three right here and Rotate that put a door right there Create It's there <laughs> It's there maybe we may you know what maybe what we need to do is we need to look more into this Maybe there's other people that we can talk to to help with our situation here, because I'm pretty sure... Let me just take a look here at my inventory. I'm pretty sure I don't have anything that revolves around hygiene. I don't. Okay, all right. So, yeah, I think this is more of a more or less go find it on your own. And or if it's in the Pond Voyage, check there. What's here? Okay, bear stash. Wait, is this our storage? Your inventory in our bear stash? Is this stuff where we could just keep? Oh, I didn't know about a bear stash. And then this is the Pond Voyage. Very well. It does say to book a guest. I I'm just afraid to book a guest because we have no hygiene and I don't want to upset the guests. I don't want to get a bad review, right? I don't know if that's what the, the direction the game wants us to do is like book someone and be like, oh yeah, you don't have hygiene. That's why they, they gave you a one star review, right? But let's talk to the witch here. You seem like you barely know how to put one foot in front of the other. Okay, right. All right. I'm not surprised. Excuse me. Tell me, child, do you reckon with the wild? Do you flirt with the bazaar? I beckon the Uncharted. I've been known to occasionally look away in the distance. No, no, no. I didn't think so. Um, you don't look the part, is what I'm saying. You've never set foot in a shadow darker than your own mother's. If you think these lands are young, you are greener than the crudest sapling. Crudest sapling, sorry, not crudest, crudest. There is nothing to fear but those who fear nothing. What the hell are you talking about? I would always say that in any dialogue where I was confused. Uh, fine. I guess I'm lucky to stumble upon something with pockets, I guess. Did you just call me something? I hope for sake that, th <laughs> that they're not empty either. Say, you wouldn't happen to know anything about all the humans showing up out of nowhere, would you? I uh, might have had a hand in that. Well, there's no stopping them now, is there? Once they start coming back, they'll keep coming. I won't complain. Business has been slow since that dreadful blaze. They keep talking about this wildfire, huh? Or there's some sort of fire, right? I didn't know the fire reached all the way out here. Oh, the fire wasn't even close to the worst of it, lad. Uh, the shouting, the anger. I think I read that wrong. The shouting, the anger, the pain. As if the gods were waving war over us or waging war over us. Maybe they were. Now you're getting it. Anyway, you might be taking care of the motel, but there's a clear lack of stuff to bite on around here. Something that old diner uh, was a sweet spot for. If you can get it back up to speed, I'm pretty sure you'll get more people to come over. Right, so restore the diner to its former glory. I guess. Sure. Absolutely. Oh my lord. And what about this gas station? Sorry, these gas pumps that you have laying around. Like, oh, by the way, someone did say you can press E. I, I keep hitting take all, but you can, you can press E if you want to. Double click on the E and take it all if you want to go that way too, but... You guys, you guys keep talking about this fire as well. So, I don't know. Did somebody, like, try to sabotage all this? Like, I, I'm a little confused. Or was it just natural disaster? Tony's Construction Service. Welcome to the A24 Diner. Would you like to repair it? Uh, yes, I would like to repair it. Step one, clear out any of the debris inside the structure. Done that. Step two. Did I do it? Actually, I saw a little bit of bush over there. Yep. Step two, gather construction materials needed to repair the structure. In this case, copper plates, porcelain chunks, and glass panels. Where would I get porcelain chunks? And what the heck does it look like? If I see here, 
porcelain chunk has some sharp edges okay so we do have some porcelain chunk do i remember where we got it I, I, no i don't <laughs> i don't i don't remember where we got it maybe through the stone uh batches here yeah through the stone badges there the porcelain chunk of course right yeah 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 okay so we'll get a couple of those i don't know if we'll be able to get a lot we should take our fast travel up to the north here see how our people doing see how our people are doing in our resort um okay nothing over here luckily things do spawn quite often so never worry if you are playing this game and you are oh god yeah 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 if you are playing this game and you're like i've been over there but i have taken all the resources probably check back again you'll probably see the resources there again can i go out this way no we did get something from there as a quest that might come up a little bit later Ooh, steel plate rubber slab iron plate copper plates what is this this is a metal uh, biker metal biker bear i'm not into it not yet not yet not yet i'm not ready to commit i'm ready to commit to one thing at a time that is not it okay so what we'll do is we'll just simply um see if we can get away with it i doubt we can but i'll try to book a guest even though we don't have the uh knee the the means to create a shower so let's see here if i went here just to try it out bedroom number one uh we can have a guest that wants bedroom number one one day preferably uh, what is this the guest expects a distillery to be available at the resort f this guest expects higher than average comfort during their stay you're right um let's go tegan and put tegan in bedroom one please and i'm not gonna do anybody else just because i'm lacking hygiene so there we go we've done book the guests now maybe shark boy will tell us something why be in debt from a bank when you could just borrow from your future all right <laughs> i've got a guest on the way outstanding they are in for a surprise of a lifetime take that as you will sure because of your because of our premium desert location uh, we are freely able to explore exploit a common resource to their benefit and our profits I'm not sure who's exploiting who actually in this case that's right water is mutual explo exploitation a thing due to our never-ending quest for patron excellence and unfortunate health and safety regulations this location can support sanitary facilities which are now a key expectation for any visitor of this location this this was a little bit of a problem i have to say like for the gamer out there that's like very perfect about their gameplay and they are scared to to uh to invite a guest in when they damn well know they don't have hygiene and they've been walking around trying to figure out how to do hygiene basically the, the way to do hygiene is to progress forward in the game not knowing if you will have hygiene or not does that make any sense oh, maybe it does maybe it doesn't i don't know which are now a key expectation for any vis visitor of this location can you guess that what that next step is yes it's a bathroom you sure use a lot of words to say very few things you know that correct you must now build bathrooms for your guests Han voyage has now some awesome recipes for us i wish we would have got that before getting the guest in because then i would have like booked a bunch more guests but all right that's all right that's fine it's no big deal but I can definitely see the uh, gamer, like the, the uh oh, uh, what? Uh, do we have the recipe? Uh, sorry, recipe? Bathrooms. So bathrooms introduce a new type of score, hygiene. Uh, bathrooms have an area of effect around them that applies that hygiene score to nearby bedrooms. Oh, nearby bedrooms. Interesting. You can see the area of effect of a bathroom by going into build mode and selecting the room. Interesting. Uh, higher level bathrooms have a larger area effect for their uh, hygiene score. Okay. Increase the level of bathrooms by placing higher level bathroom objects. And different guests have different hygiene requirements, so try to match them with when accepting requests. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. So build a functional bathroom in the motel. Now, are we able to do that, right? We Did, did we already get the... Um, did we get the recipes? We did. Okay. We got the recipes. Okay. So we're going to have to do a crappy toilet. One of those one shower let's be honest this is all crappy and then one sink please there we go and then let's go ahead and switch on over to our inventory let's add the crappy toilet uh we'll place it right there add the sink place it right there have a little bit of a shower yeah that's a that's a damn well shower there you go now i would like to also do this on the other side if i have enough money 
I do not have enough money. I'm $5 short, unfortunately. So I want to do it on the other side as well. Let's go ahead and exit. Let's go ahead and invite some more guests since we now know we have the capabilities of hygiene. Uh, this person's 90. Oh, wait. That's that's the bedroom. I see. Okay, so, so look at here. You can already see some of the rooms that are affected. Bedroom 4, bedroom 3 are affected by the bathroom that we have installed. Very good. Uh, there, I guess there's no, they, they don't count like a community, uh, a communal bathroom now, do they? That's kind of how I built it was I built it as a communal uh, bathroom, but maybe not. <laughs> maybe that doesn't count. Now, question, can I switch Tegan? Can I say, hey, you know what, Tegan? Um, I don't want you to go to that room. Can I like switch you to another room? That's not like unruly, right? You, you can always switch rooms when you are, you know, going to a hotel, motel, holiday inn. But I guess you can. The only the only thing I could do is cancel her her status, which is weird now because we have no more guests that would like to uh, request to come in. Whatever, it is what it is. Uh, she's gonna be in a bedroom or in a room that has no hygiene capabilities, even though we do have built or have built a communal bathroom. It's like mooching off your own future. Press the button. All right, there's a bathroom now. Amazing. Now that your guests need for needs for immediate relief are met. We should turn our attention attention to the most important motivation behind renting a room in this motel. Being comfortable? Taking some time off? Reparation. Repression. No, rep <laughs> reparation. No, 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 not reparation. Repression. That was my third guess. Recognizing the insight into customer motivation towards your product is a key detail of modern marketing. You're doing the thing again. Why would anyone stay in this scum hole? Hey, I've put a lot of work in this place. That's right, running away from what you can't escape. Shady pawn shop debt collectors? Yourself. That's a little dark. Which is the perfect opportunity for one of our most popular facilities. A bar. A distillery. Well, that's worse. But not just any bar. A tasteful, sophisticated establishment. A distillery. Alright, very cool. I'm, I'm all for it. Yeah, basic beer tap. Yeah. Wood bar stool and, you know, the little bit of a sturdy wooden bar. Like it. How refined. All right, so special rooms. Special rooms provide extra attraction for your resort. They offer special amenities and entertainment to your guests. Some guests have demands for specific special rooms, but all guests appreciate them in general. Special rooms can be a big boost to your resort prestige score. The distillery is a type of special room that can only be built in certain areas. It's great for those who are looking to unwind alongside some hard, hearty spirits. It requires a bar, seating, and a dispenser to be functional. Some guests specially, specifically look for a distillery for their accommodations. Okay, cool. So build a distillery. I don't think I have enough money to do that. So that's the only downside about that. Yeah, I don't have enough money because that was a pretty big giddy up, right? $400. Yeah, $400 indeed. So yeah, that's not going to happen. It does look like we are going over to the next day. This wind is killing me dude it's loud um do we have any more re uh, requests still no more requests okay fine all right so i think it's time for us to head back to the northern area uh but we also should be looking for more porcelain as well so we can get this other thing going on and maybe we need to get this supermarket mini market whatever the heck we're building here uh maybe we need to do that to get more of these like you know the attraction of the guests right the whole whole thing that they keep smacking our head against right this whole like bring the guests bring in guests attract the people attract the people attract the tourists and do this and that and that yeah 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 all right have all the materials for the diner sorry it's a diner not a uh mini mart yeah they're all here step three get your butt to work well that's a very lovely looking diner so we have a diner and a hotel next to each other how cool is that all right so there we go restore uh diner dash fantastic game back in the early 2000s i would have to say uh, Diner Dash nowadays kind of slumps, I will say. But the old games back in the day were kind of a banger. Uh, still no more guests, right? Yeah, no more guests. Very well. All right, build a functional distillery. That's going to be last resort. We'll go ahead and talk to the witch and see what the witch has to say to us. I hope everything's going well up north at Timber Crossing. I can't remember if we have one or four guests there. Hello. How are you? How's the diner repair going? Uh, going, going, gone. I mean, done. <laughs> you should know, child. Uh, there's nothing more treacherous on this green earth than humans. Those bald gremlins. We are not all bald. They know nothing of this world yet. They consume it. 
the dark spirits will be very angry with their return. You really freak me out when you do that. I suppose they do bring their own fortunes, which of course they don't share willingly. You have to pray or become prey, or scavenge like rats. I don't suppose you've had any uh, bad dreams lately? No, none. I sleep like a baby, actually. Yeah, a big honest baby. Don't worry, she only bites when she's told. And there's no one to tell her yes or no. Oh, or no. Yes or no. Got it. Uh, very well, you crazy witch. <laughs> you crazy witch. Gas station turkey. So I did hear a ding ding, which obviously tells us that um, we are looking at our guest to be here. Yeah, there's our guest. Our guest is here. We'll just wait. We'll just wait. We'll just wait. All right, now let's go ahead and check to see if we have any available guests that are willing to come in. Yes, we have six requests. Shauna Shaw, Shayna Shaw, Shauna Shaw, Ellie Abbott, Leva, Phoebe, uh, Timote, Timate, Tomo, T Tomata. <laughs> we'll accept this guy. Uh, he's looking for eight comfort, five hygiene, one decoration. So you would actually go just fine in uh, bedroom three, please. We'll do bedroom three for you. Uh, Phoebe. You'll also be, you know what, I would like to do one, sorry, one day guests if I can. One day guests. 14 hygiene, are you out of your mind? Uh, Livia, Livia, Livia Marsh, we will have you and you will be assigned to bedroom four. Nice. So one thing I would like to do before getting the distillery is I probably want to build another bathroom. Yeah. So if I have enough money, hopefully I do, I can't remember, 135? I think I'm five short, right? Oh no, 430 good god dollars. Yeah, our other resort must be kicking ass and taking names. So that's fine. So I would like to invest a little bit more on this resort. I would like to go here, do three as well. And then add the door there. And then that should be that. Great. Yes, yes, yes. And then let's go ahead and craft another toilet, another shower, and another sink. Very cool. And then switch over here, grab all this. Uh, trying to mirror a little bit. Trying to mirror what I got going on on the other side. There we go. Perfect. Now, that gives us the capabilities and abilities. Capabilities and abilities. I speak weird language. <laughs> uh, to have more people, I think. So, like, Shauna. Probably not Shauna because she does require a very high hygiene. But at least for these people, the two days will go here. Um, one bedroom is good enough for him. We'll add that. Now, if I wanted to connect these middle two bedrooms with a bathroom, I would have to look in possibly a bathroom in the middle, which just would feel terribly weird. But I think that's the way I'm going to have to go or hope that nobody asks for a hygiene in the future. I'm really not sure which direction to go with. So I'm going to leave that as it is. I'm going to head up back north. Uh, go ahead and fill in some people that need to be filled in. And um, yeah, see where we're going. Because it's getting a little spicy now, isn't it? The fact that we have to sit back and worry about different, you know, different places. Micromanaging in a way, right? I, I like it. I like it a lot. So here we go. We're back at our original depot. Original motel. Um, let's see here. We have four active guests. Oh, Okay, so never mind. Everybody else seems to be uh, leaving tomorrow. Tomorrow, less leaves in two days. Okay, yeah. All right, cool. No problem there. Sounds good to me. Uh, now, inventory-wise, where do we sit here? $295. Okay, let's go and grab that trash. And then let's talk to Mr. Took. See if there's any decorative items that we can kind of work with here. Any more, I should say, additional decorative items that we can work with here. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Cool. Hey, Took. Uh, Took is looking at very much the same stuff. Okay, cool. Nothing too uh, insane in the membrane there. However, we do have a quest for this billboard, I've been told. Uh, further improvements available at this location. You must now successfully complete the following tasks. Raise the prestige level to three in Timber Crossing. Reward 150 coins. Would you like to accept this job? I would. Uh, task in progress. Please return once the job is complete, which I believe it's already complete. So we're already ahead of you, my good man. Uh, is this job complete? Why, yes, yes it is. Good. So now that should give us enough money to build our distillery. 
I think I think it's 400. I don't think it's 450 unless we're like five coins short, which I really hope we're not five coins short. So let's head back to the A24. See if we can get this distillery in and maybe craft our distillery items like the bar table, the bar stool, the uh, the dispenser. Yeah, the dispenser. <laughs> See if we can craft these items in. All right. Hopefully it's not 450. I have a feeling I'm going to get screwed over, and I? 400. Great. All right, so the distillery needs to be a 4x5 area, and I've already thought about putting it over here. As soon as you walk in, you go 1, 2, 3, and 4. Not going to be like a room, is it? I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like what I'm doing here. So that's 4, and that's 5. You know what? I do. I do like it. I like what I'm doing here. I like it. I, I It is a room. That's kind of strange. This is a room. Okay. Um, I'm going to put this room right here if I can, possibly. I'm going to move this window to the side here. I think windows in the distillery make sense. So we're going to do that. Uh, 400. Now, this little tiny little nook here, easy to have a bedroom. Easy to have another room right there. And that will give benefits for our, or get benefits from our, uh, our bathroom, which is good. So let's go ahead and create that. Nice. Now, as far as crafting, what do we need? We get, we, did we get all this stuff for free? We did. So we need iron nails. We need pine wood. Oh, wait, we already have pine wood. We need iron nails. We can make the beard tap. We just cannot make this. So we got to go out and find some iron nails. So all we had to do was just go back to the junkyard, grab a couple of iron nails, and now we should have enough, should have enough to build ourselves a wooden bar. So there we go. Wooden bar now in place. Let's go ahead and throw this bad boy down. Let's go uh, there. People will come in. We'll put this actually right there. People will come in. They will grab a drink. I guess there's not going to be like a bartender or anything. Do that. Have a nice little beer on tap. Yeah. Right next to there. Cool nice it's kind of weird like i was thinking like open area open bar but having their own kind of like room you know it's fine yeah nice all right cool and we got that done it's now a functioning bar let's go talk to mr shark boy hello uh, participants in the pond voyage and pond cruise programs agree to waive any claim for for our participants personal injury or wrongful death press the green button the most sophisticated distillery is ready excellent you are one step closer to uh, solid uh, solidifying this establishment as the premier watering hole in this entire desert. Couldn't have asked for anything better. As we near the cons uh, consolidation of yet another premium property, we obviously need to make sure our rigorous standards are met. Obviously. What is this? Pond Voyage has new items available. Okay, good. Uh, to that degree, you will need to satisfy a series of criteria. What do you have for me? Oh, look at that. Rustic Delight Bed Recipe. Small Vanity Table Recipe. Level 2 Bedroom Objects. Um, and Cushion Footrest Recipe. Cool. All right, so complete the stay for three plus guests in A24. Now, that's going to happen eventually. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Did she just get naked? <laughs> Did I have a little bit of Sim Sensor there? Was that the Sim Sensor? I was not expecting that. I, I apologize for snooping in on that. Holy crap. What just happened? Okay, right. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's buy a Mel welcome mat, mat. Not a Malcolm. A welcome. I don't know what a Malcolm is. I think a Malcolm is like a, a one pronunciation away from Malcolm in the middle. There you go. All right, let's use this. Let's do this. Sorry, lady. Sorry. Oh, she's very happy to see me. Oh, that's interesting. Are they not all scared of you all the time? She was happy to see me. I'm going to put a welcome mat as you walk through the door there. Uh, do not go into the shower again. She is not. Okay. Welcome. Hey, she uses the, the sink. She's happy. Okay. She's happy. Fine. <laughs> okay. All right. So everyone goes to sleep. Hopefully the bear can sleep at night. Do, 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 do. No, no, no. Not the lion sleeps at night. It's the bear that's going to sleep at night. Trust me. In the meantime, I'll grab a little bit of other stuff and then we'll wait until the morning. All right, with a couple of guests now coming on in. Look at them come. Look at they come. Look at they come. As they're coming through. Very good. 
that is actually Peter Griffin right there with the color scheme. Love it. Uh, but yeah, so we have three guests coming in. They're very, very happy to see me as a bear. Ah, I wonder if it's because I have pants on. You think it's because I have pants on they're happy to see me? Usually when I have no pants on, nobody's happy to see me, but they, yeah, they, they, they say thank you for the pants. Cool. All right, let's see if we can get more people in here, yeah? Uh, guest requests. Um, right. Everybody's asking for hygiene. Nobody seems to be asking for uh, a distillery right now. That's fine. That's all right. I'm, I don't want the extra pressure added to me, right? Yeah. Uh, so we will assign this man to here. There you go. Uh, we will also assign this man to here. There we go. We'll also assign this uh, lady person to here. And that is it as far as right now until we build another bathroom, which we probably should. And or bedroom. Bathroom and or bedroom. Yeah, I think they're treating me differently because I'm wearing hats and, a pant and pants. If that's the case, that's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, I kind of regret the way we've built this hotel now, looking at it at, at a full scale here. I would have definitely did something a lot different. But it's okay. It's fine. I'll roll with the punches for now. This definitely could have looked a lot better. Uh, but in the meantime, I guess we can build another room or two. We'll do this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect. Add that bad boy right there. And that will get the benefits of the hygiene, which is key. So we'll do that. And then we'll do another room. Get that right off over here, right? Should be same concept. One, two, and three, and three. Very good. Very good. Very good. Cool. All right. Now, with that done, let's going to craft ourselves some new beds. Um, let's go with... Well, we're not doing the rustic look yet. Yeah, we're not we're not quite there yet. We're still staying with like the the shabby wooden bed and not the pallet bed, but at least that. Um, two of those. Wardrobe. I don't have iron wood and I don't or sorry I don't have iron nails and I don't have pine wood planks. So wardrobe is kind of out of the question, but I have a workaround for that. Uh, same with the footrest, I believe. So I have a workaround with that. Let's go into our inventory. Let's grab a couple of beds. We'll have them face. That way, yes. That way, and then they can face that way as well. And what I'll do, actually I don't have a workaround. I was gonna say, if these had um, extra, like extra wardrobes, then I was just gonna use them, but that's not the case. Okay, that's all right. Now, is there an option to, if we wanted to, is there an option to delete, remove, remove? Is there an option to demolish? Like, if I say no bueno. Is that possible? Add a window, add a door. There must be a way. There must be a way that I just don't see right here. Okay, wait a sec. Can I... Uh, Throw away, right? Throw away. No, don't throw away. Please don't throw away. <laughs> um, there might be a way to do this. Up the floor, up the walls, crafting. If you guys know in the comment section on how to... Never mind. Don't tell me in the comment section. I got it. My investment will be protected. I'm very happy where this is going. Okay. Okay. Yes, and we got money back from it too. So the game is very forgiving in that manner. This is what I was thinking, dude. That's what I was thinking, but that's still not the minimum size now, is it? No, that's not the minimum size. Uh, no, 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 cancel that. But we could put bathrooms in there if we wanted to. I like this, you know what? I like where this is going. We're good, we're good, yeah, no, absolutely. Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. So this is fine. We got all this working for us. Um, that means we can at least bring in a couple more guests, I believe, now. Two more, to be exact. Yeah, there we go. Requests. Uh, well, I guess one more, because we don't have that high of a hygiene. We'll do one more. Yeah, now those other bedrooms have it going on. Stacy's mom also has it going on, but that's a, that, that's a whole nother conversation and a whole bag of worms I'm not willing to dive into quite yet. Right? Okay, so this should be fine. All we have to do is wait for these folks to uh, have their have their guests 
hop in, go through, do all that, giddy it up, right? Now, in the meantime, we could probably buy this. And we will. So we're going to buy that. We're going to buy that. And we're going to buy that. This is going to be high standard stuff, rustic looking stuff. Stuff that um, will help us out in the future here. So let's go ahead and like do that, do that, and do that. So now we've learned that stuff. The question is, is they must think we're Smokey the Bear, I'm telling you. The question is, how much does this stuff cost to make? Um, give me, uh, can we filter level two stuff? Uh, functional furniture? Bedroom? Okay, no filter, no filter. Iron nails. So iron nails and pine wood planks. Other than that, we're pretty much good to go. All right, so pine wood planks, iron wood, or iron nails. I could do that, no problem. So I went scavenging and I found a, a bunch of stuff, but I didn't seem to find any iron nails, unfortunately. However, I did find a lot of material. So I'm going to go ahead and come on over here and make this metal biker bear, I guess, and see what this does. Ah, very well. And an incredible sample of modern art plus one extra guest request per day in this area. Cool. I think it looks cool. It's, it's a bear basically on a bike. All right. <laughs> Very well. Okay, yeah, so now the only thing we need to do is complete a stay for three guests in A24. We'll just go ahead and sleep the night away, and this should give us what we need and have them check out. Let's see. Ding dong. Actually, ding freaking dong. We got 1,100 gold from that. Wow. That was really good, no? All right, let's talk to Shark Boy and see what Shark Boy's got for us. Uh, you got all requirements in check, right? Yes, we did. Ready? Amazing! This concludes our foray into the roadside attraction business. Your extraordinary enterprise uh, empire is expanding. Thanks to the hard work of your Pond Voyage representative, how can I ever repay you? Remember to start working on your next premium property. Locate your nearest shark-like agent and press the green button. Where would that be? Guess we'll find out. Oh, uh, how, uh, how quaint. Come visit an old lady when you can, will you? Oh, all right. I will. I will. We also have the billboard here doing its thing as well that we can dance with. Let's see what that's all about. A24, a leadership and advancement program. You can now further improve this establishment. Successfully doing so will increase your guest expectations for this location, also increasing the payout in bragging rights. In order to improve this premise, you must now successfully complete the following task. Build five level two bedrooms in a24 reward a cool trinket that can help tell time oh I, I yeah hell yeah sign me up brother so level two we should have that right we probably have that yeah task in progress build five level twos okay so how can you tell which one's a level two and which one's not a level two so i believe the way to tell is if you click on this and you click on the rooms right yeah so this this is a room whoops i did not mean to do that this room tells us that it's a level one right um if we wanted to make it a level two i think what we need to do is add a level two furniture so be the uh, level two bed right that we so can't get because we just don't have uh, any um we just don't have any uh nails iron nails i think right we should double check here let's go to crafting and let's go to our level two uh bed yeah, we just have no iron nails. So that's the only downside there. Other than that, I should probably think about adding more guests to our docket here. So let's do that real quick. So we have five active guests, seven requests. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, uh, Tilly, would you like to come in? Yes, Tilly. You are more than welcome to stay here. Uh, yes. Tilly, that reminds me of uh, watching... Uh, God, what's that movie? Uh, the Yes Man. Yes Man, yeah. Tilly, the old lady. Oh, God. She took her teeth out for obvious reasons. Let's just say that. There we go. Cool. All right. So I think that's good to go. Let's go talk to this old lady up here. Request accepted. Everybody will arrive tomorrow. Cool. All right. So, Barbara, you're making your way all over the place, aren't you? My, I barely got here and you're right on my track. I I'm not following you. That's right, old lady. You better watch your back or I might build you a bedroom. So like kind of like building her a grave or something or like uh hospice care possibly i don't know what the hell you're trying to get at here mr bear with a fish on your hat oh i just realized the character actually 
has clothes on in the little cutscene, huh? That's actually pretty cool. No, I'm not following you. Apologetic bear noises. You seem to have made it to the little uh, con to this little concrete island. Arguably, an oasis worse than a desert. It's saving you from. This place used to host all sorts of people, mo but most importantly, uh, those without a lot of time on their hands. One of them, a sailor, a captain, I should say, a father to three strong boys. He had a lot of um, unexpected stops to make. Some would say his work in was hectic, hostage to the, uh, to the wishes of the sea. He would make the stop so often that he'd have a regular room all to himself. One could wonder, perhaps, why his room would also come with regular guests all to himself. Wait, are you saying he had a regular room and a regular, uh, you know what I'm talking about? <sighs> Woo, spicy. Maybe he didn't like sleeping alone. Questioning bear noises. Yeah, I suppose when the frost of the seas follows you, even ashore. You curl up to any ember you find. Oh, that's spicy, yeah? He kept the books on all mari uh, maritime travel, even showed it to me. It was uh, his pride and joy. The schedule, like clockwork, like co uh, that coordinates the ships, their names. It was so fascinating that I couldn't help myself and stashed it under a wardrobe. And he never saw it again, and neither did I. I have that book. Don't worry about it. It's in my pocket. I came back here with a blind hope that the chaos spared this little book. But there was nothing but rubble and dust, not even a standing wardrobe to look under. If you happen to come across an old leather book, which we have, uh, do an old lady a favor, would you? We got you. Oh my, is that what I think it is? An old brown leather book. Excited bear noises. You know, I never used to see any animals like you just roaming around here. We were lucky to uh, hear birds some days. Now you all seem to be running the place. Not that I'm complaining, you're probably more qualified anyways. Uh, and you do seem like you're getting things back into shape. This road used to be full of cars and buses, people chasing other people's problems, or sometimes their own, but rarely. You never had time to look after yourself. Oh, there I go again, blabbering to a bear. It sounds like you've been here a long time. If only you could blabber back and keep an old lady company. I seem to have fallen out of practice with that, keeping company. But uh, I'm not here to throw a pity party. There's hardly enough booze for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a long walk ahead of me. Okay. Did we get like a little character cutscene about Barbara? Or did we already get that? I can't remember. What's happening? Hello, Sabine? Or Beanie, right? <laughs> Fancy meeting you here, mister. I figured something must have gone down south. Too many folk out here out of nowhere, right? That damn shark's got people coming in droves. I have to go keep an eye out on the dam near on the dam near the lake. So, oh, is that where we're going? Are we going to a dam? So the barrier up to uh, High Lakes is open, by the way. If you make your way up there, look me up. I know the place inside and out. Ah, we're going to the lake, to the dam, to where Sabine is. That's the next place. I kind of like it. New routes unlocked towards Highland. Dark Grove. Dark Grove. Okay. Highlands Dark Grove. Cool. As far as here goes, we need nails. It's that simple. We just need nails. Um, and we just don't have any nails. Now, maybe, just maybe, I will try to attempt to get nails from the dump in the back. Right? Because you can go to the dump. You don't have to go to the actual junkyard. You can go into the back of the back. Like, back of the building back. And get some trash back there. I don't know if iron nails come in, in, in clumps of, of metal or if it comes into these like little trash here. Now, it doesn't seem as if I have any trash here to, to, to scrounge through. But what does this say? Looks like a good place to hide a body. You're a bear. What are you talking about? <laughs> you don't hide bodies. You certainly don't. Yeah, so I guess I'll go through here and see. I really don't think there is any iron nails. I think it's all just iron screws, electronics, uh, plates and whatnot. If I can't find any iron nails, then what I'll do is I will just go all the way up to uh, to the lake. See, that's a screw. Steel screw, to be exact. I'll go all the way up to the lake, and maybe I can find iron nails up there. I just found some iron nails. As I said that. So there is a little bit of iron nails in this junk. Okay, fair enough. Very well. Very well. So majority is steel screws, but you definitely can find a little bit of iron nails. All right. 
It's good to know that this did reset a little bit. I was a little worried. We were running out of, uh, you know, out of time and resources. I know they will come back, but like, it does take a little bit of time before this resource does come back. So there is a couple of nails that we got. Let's go ahead and head back to the A24. See if we can build ourselves um, a, a level two bedroom, but I don't think we have enough nails to build five of them. Again, when you pick up uh, valuables like the trash off the ground, I don't know if you have a chance of finding nails off the ground there. That's what I was going to test out, but um, there was no trash at the dump. There is trash right here, though, right? There we go. Okay. Okie dokie. So let's see if we can build these beds. We should be able to build at least two to three beds. Uh, let's go here. Rustic bed. Two beds. So only two beds. That sucks. But two is better than none, I guess. And then, oh, there's trash in there. So what I'll do is I'll just take this that out of there get that out of there and then we will go ahead and add a rustic delight f and f it is a big boy it is definitely a big boy uh, bed there we go uh it's super claustrophobic in there yeah super there we go but i think it technically counts right so let's see here uh let's see does that count yeah that's a level two bedroom now so we have two level true two level two bedrooms now we just need to make three more but we need more iron nails. I, I would like to go in here and kind of like get the trash. Like your dirty slobs. Can you get into your bed there? I can't even get to your bed. <laughs> I don't know. I hope they can go to bed. I can't get to the bed. It might be because of my weight. Okay. We might be a little overweight to get to our bed. Yeah. He can fit through there. I can't fit through there. Oh, I can fit through there. Okay. Well... I'm a little curious to see what happens here. It is very crammed in there. It really, really is. But uh, I don't know. I guess I guess they'll be okay. Let's head on up to the High Lake through uh, Timber Crossing. And the one thing that I'll do on my way to High Lake is I will go to uh, What's-His-Face, the bus guy, Ollie, I believe his name is, Oliver. I'll make a stop there first so I can buy myself a bus, uh, a bus sign and or tool chest right is that what it's called the tool chest a bus sign in the tool chest and so we can build ourselves a fast travel system over there so i would like this please give me that for 200 oh my god we have 1400 yeah we're looking good there we go thank you oliver Ali Ali. and then what i'll also do is i'll come over to our place and make sure that we have more guests arriving here soon um which i think everybody is actually leaving tomorrow at this place so yeah that's what we'll do Let's walk in here no big deal pick up the trash there we go wonderful come over to the front re uh, front receptionist desk and then we will add yes 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 poppy oh what a wonderful name poppy we'll add we will not add poppy i know what you you hear you hear that noise bella is very upset very very upset about this all so it does it does say that you know we are looking at guests that are going to require more attention right obviously um i apologize for the dog i think her mom is home i i i, I do i think her mom is home yeah we're gonna have to make some better changes to the decoration here in order for this to 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 get the guest in i guess better guests high paying guests in right um let's not touch that sign ever again that's our fault Right, our fault. We've went a little too far on our advertising, our billboard thing. That um, we might be uh, needing to do a little bit of the TLC there at that little shack. However, we have arrived at High Lake, where there appears to be appears to be a, a bears to be appears to be a dam. Why, hello, Sabine. Well, I never look who waddled their way up the windy road. I would call it more of a wobble. Welcome to High Lake. Now, I'm not going to insult your intelligence here. Oh, there's zero chance of that. But ex by explaining why it's called that. But this is uh, this used to be the prettiest place to spend summer in. The soft wave of the trees in the wind, the calmness of the water. No wonder the captain built his vacation house here. I remember it had the most amazing garden. You could see it from the dam. Obviously, you weren't allowed anywhere near the place. You should check it out. It's just up the dirt road. I'm sure there's some fruit or something you can eat along the way. That is your main occupation, right? Eating fruit. I would never limit myself to just fruit. I'm going over the dam to my outpost. I'll see you around. Very much, Sabine. Cool. 
So I guess she wants us to take the dirt road up and to discover what we have as far as like the captain's house, right? I like Sabine. Probably the one character I like the most in this game so far. She's so, uh, she's so light. She's so, uh, she's light on her feet. Yeah, I feel like. She's very nice. Get some ingredients, I guess. Mushrooms. First time, uh, first time us picking up mushrooms. <clears throat> there we go. Take a little bit of that. I'm just picking up a little something, something here. What is this? Oh, apples. Okay, nice. Oh, is the game going to start to introduce cooking to us? Oh, that would be wild. No, wouldn't it? That would be a, a delightful surprise, I would have to say. I think I just got a lot of I got a lot of nails there, so that's good. Let's go to make our fast travel system. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, we just got a bunch of nails from that, so that was really nice. So apple trees there. All right. What do we have here? Oh god, is it Shark Boy sign? Yeah, it's a Shark Boy sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shark Boy sign indeed. Oh, look at this. It's like a manor almost, yeah? This is cool looking. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You know what? To do it justice, let's sleep for the night. We'll sleep for the night so you can see what we're looking at here in the daytime. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up this place because we already know that we're going to have to. And oh my lord, look it. There's gardens. Are you going to tell me we're going to be able to farm in this game? Possibly? Maybe? Make our own crops? There's a lot of uh, nails here. I'd love to see that. Is that what you're telling me? Greatest of all time. Find someone who can help you in High Lake. Looks like there's a goat, possibly, that we can make friends with. Looks like there's a basement here as well. I do see, like, downstairs. Hello? Oh, wait. <laughs> I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's, like, a basement down there. Oh, no, sorry. This is upstairs. Okay, this is upstairs. There's an upper floor. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so that's upstairs. I love it. I love it. And the music's different over here, I feel like. Yeah. Down. We will build that. Thank you very much. There we go. Oh, I love this. This place is looking very, very cool indeed. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Cool. Uh, let's see what Shark Boy has to say about all this. Uh, hello, Shark Boy. <clears throat> uh, mic check. One, two, one, two. What you gonna, what you gonna do when uh, they can hear me? Crap. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's go up here and see if we can find ourselves a friend. Clean up the area while we're here. There's Took's garbage as well. Might as well go into this crop field maybe in the future. I guess we don't have the key for it, but there's some spicy crops in there. Is this like a Billy goat or something? Hello? Is his name going to be Billy? Julia. All right. <laughs> no, this is the last time. You are not taking anything from my garden. Please. There's barely anything left, and the potatoes aren't even in season. Uh, oh, I, I didn't mean to barge. Oh, you didn't? Well, you did anyways. I'm sorry. Oh, no, um, I didn't mean to come off that way. I'm sorry. You'll just have to look for food somewhere else. Hey, 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 I'll never say no to a warm, glistening potato. But that's not why I'm here. Oh, uh, of course. That was stupid of me to assume. It's not even close to stupid, I'll tell you what. I'm Hank. I live in the thicket with my mom and two best buds. It's nice to, nice to meet you, Hank. I'm Julia. I don't get a lot of visitors. Well, I do, but they usually don't talk. They just take. And I don't have a lot left to give up. I'm not here to take anything. I'm actually here to do the opposite. Oh, Julia. Uh, always caught by surprise, Julia the goat was the only remaining resident in the huge estate. She seemed very invested in her vegetable garden, but the rest of the property didn't concern her as much. The intense aroma coming from her house signaled a knack for cooking, a hunch reinforced by Hank's uh, rumbling tumbly. Oh, very cool. I'm not here to take anything, just the opposite, actually. I was wondering if this old house was occupied. I think it could use a fresh coat of paint. Well, it used to be. I guess not anymore. No one's been inside the old captain's shack in ages. Do you mind if I take a look? No, but uh, only if you don't mind not going anywhere near my garden. Fair enough. Find a way to repair the farmhouse. Right. Find a way to repair the farmhouse. And that's down here, right? That's where we can get in contact with Tony, yeah? Oh, God. The shark boy has a quest for us. Let's see here. Farmhouse. Tony's construction, not available. Yeah, we're going to have to get in, in contact with the shark boy. But that's going to do it in today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Bear and Breakfast. If you guys did, please make sure to hit the like. If you would like to see more, hit the like button because it tells me you want to see more. 
Thank you all so much for spending time with me today. And I do hope to see you in the next video, wherever that may be. Right? In the next video, wherever that may be. And do as always, take care. <laughs> she said we better of his best friend.